Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, August 13th, 2021. Let's take a brain break with Ms. Merchant and Ms. Marcos. Good morning, boys and girls. The character trait of the month is cooperation. What is cooperation exactly? Well, cooperation is when people work together in a kind way, listen, follow directions, and help each other. Now, let's learn about this week's health fact with Ms. Marcos. Ms. Merchant, do you know how many bones are in the human body? Um, well, let me tell you. There's actually 206 bones. And did you know that babies are born with 300 bones? So what happens to the rest of the bones when we grow up? Well, the smaller bones in a baby, they fuse together and come together as the baby grows. The smaller bones become one larger bone, and that's why you end up with 206 bones. Wow, that is so interesting. Thank you for sharing that fact with us, Ms. Marcos. You're very welcome. Can I show you this week's SEL technique? Yes, please. We are going to try a fun activity called balloon breathing. We are going to use our breath to fill our bellies and expand them like a balloon. Step one, wiggle your shoulders and sit up tall. Pop your hand on your belly. Step two, imagine that your belly is a balloon. Take in a slow deep breath and imagine filling up the balloon. Step three, then exhale slowly deflating the balloon in your belly. Step four, let's try that again. But this time, if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. Really focus on filling your belly with air and noticing the belly getting bigger. Step five, as you exhale, imagine the balloon slowly floating away high up in the sky. Miss Marcos, how did you feel after this activity? You know what, Miss Merchant? I was a little bit anxious before, but now I feel a lot calmer. Thank you, Miss Merchant. You're welcome. Boys and girls, stay tuned for next week's SEL Health Fact of the Week. Bye. Bye! Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Peyton. Sports fans, welcome to the second edition of Sports Equipment Origins. I'm your host, Scott Pinnock, and today we will be talking about the origins of the hockey puck. The hockey puck was invented in 1875. The first pucks were flat squares and made of wood. One story claims that a student from Boston University sliced a rubber ball in half to make a puck, and so the round puck was born. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheese pizza, green beans, mixed fruits, and your shares of milk. Students, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go see what's trending with Hot Topic. Thank you, Sonia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending today. The book Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Big Shot, will be releasing Tuesday, October 26th. It will be online and available in stores near you. Another book to add to my favorites. Emojis have been around since 1997. There has been a debate on whether the poop emoji or the red heart emoji was created first. LOL is my favorite emoji. The most urban air is one of the most popular trampoline parks at the moment. Its most popular attractions are Sky Rider, Wipeout, Adventure Hub, and Dodgeball. It's also voted number one for birthdays. Can't wait for my birthdays. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Patriots, attend our data drive today, where students are able to discuss grades and NWEA scores. See you there. Now let's go to David to see what the weather's going to be like today. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today is going to be a little bit cooler than usual. Uh, 88 degrees Fahrenheit and some scattered thunderstorms. 
This is great weather to stay indoors and enjoy a good manga. In other weather news, in New Jersey just experienced a massive tornado, and due to the tornado, New Jersey's largest dairy farm was nearly destroyed in this event. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, David. Today, there are no Patriot birthdays. Scholars, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Samuel, Miss Annalie, Miss Shadid, Miss Freeman, and Miss June. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, which planet has the most moons? The correct answer to the question was Saturn. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What are the names of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teachers, please send your answers to finds.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!